What are you doing? Looking at this clock. Why? I'm waiting for Christmas. December just started. Yeah, I know. How long until Christmas? 360 hours. Hi, my name is Alyssa, and I'm here with your Christmas countdown. As of today, there are only 15 days left until Christmas. Hey guys, it's Cam. This week's Spirit Week was so fun. There was people dressed up as the Grinch, elves, Santa, in fuzzy socks and flannels. Also in our school colors, just part of the school. I hope y'all didn't forget to wear your ugly sweaters. A reminder for next week's plan, Monday and Tuesday are regular school scheduled. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are all minimum days. First and second period are on Wednesday, third and fourth are on Thursday, and fifth and sixth are on Friday. Good luck and make sure you study. It's pretty chilly today. Yeah, it looks pretty cold. Do you know the weather for next week? No. Okay, that's good because I know it. Oh, what is it? <laughs> it's going to stay in the 50s all week and it's going to be pretty dry. Wow, that's, it seems a little cold in the 50s. Might want to wear something warm. Yeah, like a sweater. Please do wear your sweaters, guys. Yeah, you don't want to get sick. My name's Ethan and today I'm with Mr. Tondra and we're going to be talking about the special Olympics event that I heard that was going to happen on the week of finals. So what's that all about? It's a holiday art sale where we are also going to be having music from the band playing. So I was wondering, when and where will the Special Olympics event take place? It's going to be happening during both lunches in the quad on December 14th. That's the Tuesday right before final starts. And I was wondering, how can students help out and what does the fundraiser contribute to? The fundraiser is going to be specifically for our uh, Special Olympics club. Um, any of the proceeds that we raise will also be donated to the Southern California a uh, Special Olympics organization, and you can help out by just bringing a little bit of loose change so you can buy something from us. You can also help out by giving us a donation if you can make it be on Monday before. Thank you. I really hope that it goes well, and I can't wait to be there for on um, Tuesday, the 14th, uh, before finals. So make sure to be there and support. Hello, RHS. Trenton from the future here to let you know that last Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the RHS Advanced Art Class had their art show. Now, they did an amazing job with their different creations, and I had them pose next to their artwork in their own style to add some personality to it. So I hope you enjoyed the art show, and I hope you c that they have many more to come. Today I'm here with an ASB member, and who are you? I'm Jasmine Martinez. I am the new president of the Senior Council. And I heard that they're giving out positive office referrals. And what, what are positive office referrals? They are a reward of doing good on campus. And if there's a prize, do you know what it is? It's a secret. Okay. And why are you guys doing these positive office referrals? We just want to make sure uh, that the good on this campus is being recognized. All right, thank you. Hello, RHS. I'm Abby, and I'm here with your course change request. The school has sent out an email with the link that you can click on to help you change your schedule. Make sure you get that done by January 4th. If your request is approved, you'll receive another email on January 10th. If you have any further questions, make sure to contact your counselors. If you don't know who your counselors are, A through K is Ms. Lapari, and L through Z is Ms. Smith. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Cambaliza and Cadence Collette, United States of America's Mrs. and Teen Maryland 2022. So I have a couple questions for you guys. Why Maryland? We had the opportunity to participate in a pageant in Maryland, so we figured why not tour the state and tour DC at the same time over Thanksgiving break. Okay. So how long have you guys been doing pageants? I've been doing pageants for almost 11 years. It's been a really big part of my life since I was five years old. That's that's a long time. <laughs> what about you? This was actually my first pageant. However, my girls have competed for years. Um, and Cadence kind of inspired me to just go after something new. So 
I figured, why not? So tell me about your guys' platforms. My platform is called Mia, which stands for Marvel and Youth Autism. And what inspired me to do this was my little cousin Mia, who was recently diagnosed with autism. My goal is to spread awareness about youth autism and show activities, tips, and tricks to help uh, coping. Okay. So what's your platform? My platform is called Mending Minds with Movement, and it's to teach people how to get rid of the things that stress them out um, through exercise. So what's next in your guys' pageants? Next will be the United States of America's Miss Finals pageant, which will be in Vegas next February. And what about you? I will be with Cadence um, going to Las Vegas in February, so we're super excited about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome back to You versus the Bulletin. This week, Richard and Maddie are going against each other. We each get five swings, and whoever hits the most out wins. So, Richard, how do you feel about going against Maddie? Um, she has a nice swing, but I'm going to win, so... My name is Reese and I've been playing basketball for six years. I like basketball because I like my teammates and I've played the sport for a long time and I just find it fun. My favorite memory was last year on the way home from Mammoth, Coach Amanda thought that someone was spitting on her but it was just raining and the bus and all the windows were open. This year I hope that our team makes it to CIF and we have a pretty good season. Put me in coach. Hey guys, it's Alyssa here to talk about last night's basketball game for boys varsity. It was crazy. Um, we did really good the entire game and won by a buzzer beater scored by Moses Wright. So let's take a look at everyone's reaction. What did you think of the game, yes? Um, the game was pretty hype. Um, I'm proud of them. It was kind of crazy. Um, Good job to Moses for the ending shot, and I think the team worked well as a team, and it was just a good game and all. What was your reaction? Um, I was pretty hyped. I went home with my throat hurting from yelling so much, so I mean, it was a good game. I was pretty hyped about it. I'm here with... Sebastian. What did you think on the boys' varsity game last night? Uh, it was a really good game. Tashby was a really good team, really tall and everything, and the boys came out and came through. Last shot was crazy. What was going through your head when you ran into the court in the middle of the team last night? Um, so my initial reaction was there was a little bit of time still left on the clock, so I was like, okay, I maybe got to wait a little bit just to see if the clock still on, still has some time. I was, as soon as I hit zero, I was gone. I was, I was pumped. I was with everyone else. I know, it was a really good time. I'm here with... Angel. Uh, what did you think on the boys' varsity game last night? It was a very good game. I was so anxious at the end. Like, I didn't know what to do. We were all standing. And then I, the clock went to two. They were at the half. They made it. And we, we all went crazy. Okay. What made you decide to run to the middle of the court during the game? In the middle of the team? I don't know. I was so excited. I, even, I was even going to walk into the, the locker room. Like, you could see me in the video walking to the locker room. I didn't even know I wasn't supposed to do that. But, you know, and I walked back because all my friends were calling me. But I was so excited. I didn't know what to do. Seemed excited. Very excited. <laughs> okay, thank you. 